Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Urban Tropical and today we are going to discuss a problem. A problem I'm having with my actually two Kalafias. One's a medallion and one is Onata and they are very similar problems I'm having. So medallion, I believe, I what I believe is it's the easiest Kalafia to look after. I had it for a long time and I did not have a problem. I did have one problem in the very beginning. I bought it literally four weeks into it, but I still don't know what that problem was and I resolved it just by keep on cleaning leaves. And I'm not going to go into that problem. And I did research about that so much, nothing ever came up about it. So I will put that on a separate video. But again, I'm having a different problem with it. I am not 100% sure what the problem is, but symptoms are so common. So the leaves are getting infected with something. And look at this one. It's definitely not underwatered or overwatered plant. I mean, crispy edges, I believe I have them because I do not have a humidifier. So if you don't have a humidifier, you are bound to have some crispy edges. So I'm not bothered about that. I'm bothered about if my leaf is completely going. So what I am experiencing that there is a tiny sticky black dots at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see them here. And uh, how do I really resolve this? I'm just going to share that. So this one, I don't know what it is. Normally three things attack your clathias. One's a spider mites, one's a scale, and it could be mealybugs, which I'm really not able to see. Actually, I cannot see any of them. And when I looked into it, it's like uh, has to be one of the pests, but I really do not see it. But all I know is that even if I have either of them, the solution is the same. I will have to do the same treatment. So I'm not going to really spend a lot of time figuring out what it is, but I will show you close up images of my leaves, what exactly is happening and uh, what I'm going to do. And I hope that it works. The infected leaves are just here. So this one, and uh, the reason I know it's past because if I look at the bottom side, you can see the green leaf is coming out, the green color I can see. Normally the underside gets green for two reasons. One, if I put it in a really bright light and second, past, just sucking the liquid out of it. I know that it hasn't been in a bright light for me for it to lose color. That means it's really pest infestation. I'm not sure if you can see these black spots. So I have this pretty much on all my infected leaves. So the very first thing I'm going to do is cut the leaves which are beyond repair. So this leaf, I just left it so I could shoot the video. So I need to cut this leaf and I'm going to cut this leaf. And then I am thinking I'm going to cut this leaf too because uh, I might not cut this leaf. I'm not 100% sure yet. So the main aim is I'm going to get rid of the leaves which are badly infected. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. So if I have, a, I mean, these are the handy things I have, I just wanted to share. So this is just a, a quite concentrated neem oil and this is rubbing alcohol 70%. So normally I would use this if it's a normal house plant, but I don't use this on the Kalathias. I think Kalathias leaves are so fragile, they do not react well to alcohol. That's my feeling. I just wouldn't want to use it. And always my go-to is neem oil. It does work wonders. So now, first I'm going to mix these up. So I always keep my, I always keep it uh, quite diluted because I don't want to use a lot of it. So I have just bottle and uh, this is filtered water, which I'm just going to put in. I always make my fresh spray because um, I don't know, I just feel maybe it becomes less effective if I make too much of it and it's just sitting around. So every time I use it, I use these really small bottles, which I do finish up quite quickly. So I, I have put literally a glass of this and a dash of this. Why do I put this? It does two functions. One, it helps 
uh, mix neem oil with water and second it works as a sticky agent it sticks onto the leaf and uh, if you have any spider mites or scale or mealy bugs it will literally suffocate them because it's sticking onto them and the only thing I have to use with this is uh, tissue paper which I'm just going to scrub the leaves or you can use a soft piece of cloth which should work as well so now I'm just going to add some neem oil it's quite concentrated so I do add very little like literally and that's it I really don't know how much quantities I use but I try to make sure it's quite diluted and now I'm just going to I'm not sure if you can see the neem oil is sitting there I have to make sure it's quite mixed up so I'm just going to shake it up So I have got two choices now. My first choice is that I'm going to spray the leaves and massage it properly every single edge I can see and change my soil because if it's any spider mites, the eggs could be in the soil. That means I will have this cycle again. But that's if I believe there are, which uh, if it's a spider mites. I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to spray this, wait seven days or even 10 days and see what's happening. If I have to change the soil, I will do so. I would have actually done that right now, but I don't have a batch of soil ready. So I need to make that batch before I can do that. So that's on hold, but I will do that if I need to. And I'm going to cut the leaves I don't need and to dispose them off. You don't want them hanging around at all. So this can go, I really don't think I want this one too. This one can go, so these two are gone. And now we're just going to moving on to spray this plant heavily. So now you can, oh. so if I show you, it's all mixed up now. You don't see any dots at all. Neem oil is completely mixed with water. I have used filtered water for this process. So, and under some. So because I said I knew it wasn't overwatered at all, because um, uh, this is the first time I'm watering since I have come back from holiday and it was quite dry. So I just had done uh, bottom watering and you can see all the roots are getting water. Actually, it does need more water. So I'm just going to check for the roots. If I see any pest or anything in there, let's just do that. So I don't have any soil infests here. Soil infestation, actually, that's the word. So I'm just checking. I'm just checking. It definitely needs more water at least. I'm just going to water it more from the bottom again. I just think water, uh, bottom watering is so good for your plants. They get a proper drench. And especially if you have a fungus infestation, the last thing you want to do is to promote that. I have made so much mess here, so dear. But the next step is I will keep you posted how it goes and if the leaves are getting any better or not. I really hope that this was useful for you and please do share your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.